Animations are hard, <laughs> but they are not. <sighs> yeah, doing good animation sucks. I was lucky when I was at Twitch that the design team provided some really nice components to effectively auto animate everything I was working on for me. And it made my life a lot easier to have like a container where I would drop things in a list. And when I remove them and add different things, stuff like that, it would slide in, slide out, do all the fancy animations I was hoping for automatically. And it was a really good experience. I miss it desperately. <laughs> I have needed better methods to do animation for a while now. Not necessarily better in the sense of like, I want to do more with it, better in the sense that I want to do less. It's pretty common that I have a list or a flex container with like that that is wrapping like multiple rows, stuff like that. And I found that the automatic stuff like Framer and even the like more in-depth stuff that you can do with other custom animation stuff was way too much work for, I have this container, it has things in it and I want them to appear and disappear in an elegant way. I was linked a package in the Discord actually that made this surprisingly easy to do. And I want to be clear, this is not like the, the best animation solution in the world that everyone should use for everything. This is a, I had a simple set of things I wanted to animate. I didn't feel like doing it myself. And this library did a surprisingly phenomenal job of literally letting me animate my components elegantly in two lines of code. So I wanted to show it off a bit because I think it's cool as hell. Let's do it. So I actually spun up a quick little replet, or I guess, uh, what's it called? Stack blitz to make it a little easier to demo this all in one place. And I made a tiny little uh, app here that is almost a to-do list in, in a sense. It's a dumb list where you click add item and things appear just using Faker to generate sentences. Pretty dumb and simple. Goal here was to make it easy to add and remove things. When you delete them, they go away. Nice and simple. But wouldn't it be cool if things faded in and out and slid around when stuff gets added and removed? That's where this fun library comes in. Auto animate by FormKit. The goal here is, in their words, like to be the, the prettier of animation where you don't think about it, you just throw it in and it works well enough. I think it does a pretty good job of that. I was surprised. I didn't think I was going to dig its like behavior very much. But with auto animate, and this is just a native JavaScript example here. When you move things around, they move nice and elegantly. When you remove them, they get faded in and out. It's gotta be pretty complex to set that up, right? Let's do it. Get my NPM install. Paste, just doing the npm install here, npm run dev. Now I need the ref for the container, which they have a nice primitive for. Const, uh, I'll just call it list ref. Actually, I think it's in an array if I recall. Equals use auto animate. And ref equals list ref. Oh, and it needs to have a type, so html div element and now once i refresh this because it's a dead instance add an item and they fade in nice remove an item and it fades out nice that's it literally two lines of code so you're like okay that looks nice and is fine for a like a 2d list like this sure whatever like cool it's not that hard to animate a list, right? So what about a grid? So we're going to go to Zapdos, which you all saw me build on a previous stream. It's a question answer app, which is the ones that loads, full of questions. going to go spam myself with a few quick. Need to make enter to submit work, but I'm lazy. Cool. So now we have a bunch of questions. Ready? Do you all see that? It's so good. And that's the exact same two lines of code, by the way. How nice is that? I, yeah, I did not believe it was going to be that simple and good, but yeah, here we are. How do I do it really quickly? The only weird thing's going to be when it kills a row. But yeah, 
I was super impressed. Can I show the vanilla one again? Sure, I'll show you guys the vanilla because it is, well, even the React is pretty vanilla if you don't use their use hook, but it's, you grab a ref, you uh, set the auto animate parent dot current. This is a like helper function they provide that you pass it an element from the DOM and you're done. So in native JS, you document dot get element by ID, the name of the element, and then you auto animate that element. Yeah, shout out to Amos for being the one to initially recommend this. It is such a cool library, and now I get to make super simple and fun content with it. It should be a nice short, like, three to five minute video. I want to be clear, this is not the end-all, be-all animation solution that, like, you should use for your big fancy website when you have a whole design team and all that shit. But if you built a side project or a simple thing, or even, like, I think we're going to use this thing, honestly, for a few things. But you have, like, a list or a grid or something like that where elements get added and removed, and you want to quickly add a nice animation to it, this is the easiest way that I've ever seen. I thought I would hate this. I honestly expected just seeing what this was that I was going to quickly try it and get it like annoyed by it existing. And I was wrong. I was outright wrong. It works really well. Does do everything in JS and it's probably not the most performant thing. But yeah, if you're looking to literally write two lines of code and have animations in any web framework, <laughs> go nuts. It's pretty cool. Hey, did you know that over half my viewers haven't subscribed yet? That's insane. Y'all just click these videos and listen to me shout and hope that the algorithm is going to show you the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, maybe even the bell next to it so that you know when I'm posting videos. Also, if you didn't know this, almost all of my content is live streamed on Twitch while I'm making it. Everything on the YouTube is cuts, clips, whatever from my Twitch show. So if you're not already watching, make sure you go to twitch.tv slash Theo, where I'm live every Wednesday around 2 or 3 p.m. And I go live on Fridays pretty often as well. Thank you again for watching this video. Really excited. Thank you.